Hello and welcome to another update video about Matic. Um, on the Matic chart, the situation is fairly, um, fairly unchanged actually. Um, the idea is still that, yeah, of course, this wave four could have um, bottomed here on the 22nd of November and the fifth wave could have started. It's however not very evident and we haven't even broken above, even though it's close, but we haven't even broken above this B wave high. So primary scenario is the yellow wave count. Uh, where there is a bit of uncertainty is whether the wave four has already bottomed or we get a deeper wave two, uh, four. Of course, if we get a deeper wave four, it would be quite substantial in size. That can create a problem because then we're getting very close to the golden ratio level. And to be honest, I don't want a wave four to go below the 61.8 retracement. I don't want it to get below the 64 cent level in this case, um, not even in a diagonal. Um, it would just be too deep. In addition to that, we would see a break to the downside of the trend channel. Not great. So yeah, um, what is good though is that we've broken back above the previous breakdown point from this head and shoulders pattern. So that I think is positive. Um, but the actual head and shoulders target was of course never reached. That was around 61 cents. Um, but yeah, I mean, the problem is in these diagonal patterns, and we know that we likely are in one in the best case, certainly not an impulse, but we know that we have to be on our toes um, in these diagonal patterns. The situation is rarely very clear within the diagonal. And looking at the bigger picture, I showed you yesterday the, di the daily time frame, by the way, or even the weekly. So feel free to check out yesterday's video for a little bit more context. Um, but um, zooming out, I mean, even then, we only have three waves up. To understand that really a lasting low has been established here, we need to see from a structural point of view, a five wave move to the upside, followed by a three wave pullback. Five waves up, three waves down, it's very simple. We need that structure because that is the simplest form in which a trend can move. What have we at the moment? Where, well, we only have a high and another higher high, okay? But we haven't got that last high that we really need to confirm a trend. And then a first deeper pullback would form a higher low in an ideal case. And then we have further confirmation. So in an ideal structure, this would be how it works out. One, two, three, four. Okay, maybe we go a little lower, it's fine. As long as we're holding support, then wave five, and we've got our so-called wave one complete. Oops, didn't, didn't want to do that. We've got our so-called wave one complete, which is always a five wave move. Well, not always, there are exceptions, but um, wave one. And then here, the ABC structure to the downside should ideally follow after that. We can really only work with that five wave structure and measure um, or define a support area for this wave two. Once we have the first five waves up complete, the three wave pullback would be a so-called A, B, C structure in most cases. Uh, there can be more complex forms, but this is the simplest way. And then um, if we can hold a higher low, then this would be a setup. So we can add a support area somewhere here. Can't give you the exact um, levels now because we haven't topped in wave one yet. Uh, if we have topped, it would rather be the white B wave because we haven't got five waves up. Okay, so hopefully that that is clear. Um, but this could be a setup for a third wave rally that can then really send us towards, not directly, you know, not in a straight line, but towards um, seven to ten dollars. I showed you the bull market target in yesterday's video. Um, the ten dollar mark is a bit of a stretch target, but not unrealistic in a bullish environment and if positive conditions align. Okay. Um, so yeah, primary scenario is that we're still watching for a fifth wave. Minimum expectation for that fifth wave would be $1.10. Better would be $1.25. And I should always say plus because extensions are always possible. But this is sort of the ideal range that you have an idea. Um, and to really, yeah, let's say know that this fifth wave is starting or has started, that's basically impossible in such a diagonal um, because this move up looks corrective. Normally, that would mean we get another low. But in a diagonal, obviously, because all the subwaves are corrective, it really doesn't give you an edge, okay? We can really only track support, use it as an idea of where the trend is turning around from that local downtrend into an uptrend, and then wait and see. And at the moment, it's looking good, but the next 
resistance yeah, that needs to be crossed structurally is this one here. Need to get above that 86, 87 cent mark next. And then we can get towards um, yeah the wave three high at 98 cents and then $1.10 and so on. That's my update about Matic. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.